Hi all, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my toddler skincare. So if it's something that you would like to know, continue watching um, because you're already here, subscribe, ring the bell, and might as well follow me on my Instagram. It's aglia underscore B. There I post daily, so you get to know the products that I like, dislike, and just a little bit more about me. All right, let's get started. Okay. Before we do get started, um, I might as well tell you straight away now that a lot of the products that I use for my child are from the same brand. And no, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them. That would be amazing, but I'm not. Uh, but if this brand does want to sponsor me, great stuff. Um, anyway, when I got pregnant, I kind of knew that I did not want to experiment with my child's skincare. I wanted a brand or brands that are well known, safe, and their products are good and deliver what I need them to deliver. So I kind of stuck with a few same brands for the last two years for her. And her skin is happy, healthy, um, and nourished. So I don't want to change anything for now. Let's start with body wash. And I use the Avino Baby Daily Care Baby Hair and Body Wash. It is, let me see, free from parabens, soap, alcohol, and dyes, pediatrician tested, and also suitable for baby, uh, babies who are prone to eczema. This is a great wash. Um, I've been using it for her for the last two years. Um, I've used other ones and they were all great, but I've always come back to this one. After her bath, her skin feels, um, not dry, it feels comfortable, um, her eyes don't get irritated, it smells, it smells really clean, it's like a clean smell, so there's no like added um, essential oils for, or perfumes, just really nice and clean smell. It is formulated, it is formulated with uh, oatmeal and oat essence, so it's just really nice and nourishing body wash. For her body cream, I use the Avino Baby Daily Care Baby Moisturizing Lotion. It is formulated with oat essence and collodial oatmeal. I think collodial oatmeal has prebiotics and prebiotics are really good for skin. Um, just a nice ingredient. Really good body lotion. Um, leaves her skin well moisturized, it's not greasy, uh, it spreads really easily, it absorbs very nicely and it doesn't disappear on the skin, it just feels like it locks the moisture um, and her skin feels comfortable and happy and that's all you want for your baby. It looks like that, just like a normal body cream as I said, spreads really nicely and it's rich but not greasy and as I said, it locks in the moisture and it keeps the moisture um, on your body. Yeah, very nice. Um, again, this product I've used since she was born. Really like it. No complaints yet, so I'm not going to change anything about her skincare routine. When she has a nappy rash, I use the Bird's Bees Diaper Ointment with Vitamin E. Um, we got this in a gift set, I think, and it was it came with body wash and body cream, as I remember. Um, this is formulated with no parabens, uh, petroleum or SLS or phthalates, 100% natural. Um, yeah, their products, the Birds Bees products are really nice, they smell nice, um, but when they ended, when I finished them, I just went back to Avino. Um, yeah, nothing against Birds Bees um, baby products though. This ointment's really good. I think all the like nappy rash ointments do the same thing. Um, so yeah, it's just a nice, nice little ointment. A little while ago, I've noticed that our child started developing eczema behind both of her ears. So I went out and got the Avino Baby Dermexa Goodnight Emollient Balm. Again, this product is formulated with Avino oat extracts and oils. And here it says it's 
formulated with triple oat complex plus ceramides. Ceramides are really good for uh, skin. It keeps skin balanced and hydrated. So this is specifically formulated for babies with eczema um, and it's a thicker balm. This one has no smell whatsoever. On the skin it feels thick, not too greasy, doesn't absorb too quickly into the skin. It's, you know, it's what you want from a product like this. I've only used it three or four times before her eczema disappeared. Um, and I do think that it's down to this product. You know, I'm not 100% sure, but it did help. You know, the eczema disappeared. Right now, I use this maybe once or twice a week behind her ear, just so the eczema does not come back. I think this is a really good product. I didn't think it would help her this quickly, but it did. Yeah, I would very, very much um, advise this for anyone that has uh, a child, a toddler or baby with eczema. Um, great product. My hands feel so moisturized right now. Look, they feel great. Anyway, and the last product that I want to share with you is her SPF. SPF for babies, toddlers and children is very important. So I chose a brand that is really well known, is trusted, and you know their products, skincare and sunblocks really do work and are really good. So I chose the Avene SPF, which is 50 plus UVA. The bottle looks like that. I am not going to try and pronounce the name of this product. <laughs> I'm not going to put myself through this. Um, but it looks like that. This is a great SPF. It's hypoallergenic, non-comodogenic. Um, it works really well. Um, yeah. It has a smell, but it's not too powerful. Like it's not a horrible SPF smell. Um, it's just, there's just a hint of it. Um, looks like any, looks like any other SPF. It is quite thick, um, but it works. You know, you really have to rub it in, but it works. For my child's SPF, I want it to be thick. I want it to be greasy. Um, and I want lots of it on her. Um, yeah, I'm not messing about with my child's sun protection. And actually, uh, my whole family, so me, my partner, and my baby, we all use um, all of this for our body. So for her, I use it all over for her face and body. And for us, we use this one on our body. And then I have a different one, obviously, for my face. Um, I've just figured that because we all kind of, you know, we all touch each other, we hug. I wanted our body to be covered in the same SPF as her so that the grown-up SPF wouldn't um, transfer onto her. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? In my head it does. You know, she touches everything. She touches your arm, she touches your leg, and then I don't want her to put her hands in her mouth with a grown-up SPF, with a grown-up SPF that has some weird stuff in it. So everyone gets strength in this, other than my face. Okay, so this is what I use for my child. It's nothing crazy, it's nothing exciting, but it's brands and their skincare that are safe, well known and well formulated for kids. Um, I'm really happy with it right now. Her skin is very happy with the skincare right now and I don't think I'm gonna change it anytime soon. I hope you found this video somewhat helpful and if you did, please um, press the like for these um, products down below in the comment section. So if you just wanna look around or if you wanna get one or two of these products, links are there, but no pressure, you really don't have to. All right, bye guys.